Welcome to this Inova Systems web snippet on comparing bombs. In SOLIDWORKS, I've got two files open and I want to compare the bombs between them. So I come up, Tools, Compare, Bomb. I then select the original reference document, which is going to be my version 1, and then I can select my modified document, which is going to be my other file. I then have to select the bill of materials that I'm going to use for each file. In this case, there's only one, so SOLIDWORKS has automatically picked it for me. But if there's more than one, then I could choose from the list. And finally, I have to pick which criteria it's going to check on for failed rows. So essentially, this is which is the primary column you're interested in. For this one, I'm interested in part number, which is uh, this column here. And that's the line I want to compare most, most closely. Then I hit Run Comparison. SOLIDWORKS will go away, have a look at the two bills of materials, and it'll tell me, are there any missing columns? Nope, all the columns are the same. Are there any extra columns? Nope, the columns are the same. I was using the same bill of materials template. Are there any rows that happened in my original file that don't happen in my secondary file? And then finally, are there any rows which weren't in my original file but are in my secondary file? In this case, I do have some extra rows. I've got a card tray, a card tray support, C, an upstand card tray. And then finally, we have a look at the failed rows that were on the basis of the criteria I selected before, so part number. Now, a lot of these are failed. So we can see, for example, desert fails because the item number column used to say two and now says four. So clearly there's been some extra rows added in towards the top of this bill of materials, which don't exist at the top of this bill of materials. So we get that same problem filtering through through a lot of these columns. They're all the same problem. And then finally, we come to this one. Upstand complete fails in the quantity column. Uh, where it used to say 6 and now says 4. Now, that may be a concern. The uh, number of has dropped down. But if we have a quick look at my extra rows, we can see that I've got a different upstand has appeared in the bill of materials. At the moment, I've picked two drawings. I've picked a drawing document to compare to a drawing document. You can also compare bills of materials that have been added into assembly documents as well. So I could compare an assembly to an assembly or an assembly to a drawing or a drawing to assembly, as well as drawing to drawing. Thank you very much for watching.